Okay, according to the previous videos I've put up and had to watch through, the alkali that I'm looking for is actually right next to the oxygen station by the sphere of coolant. Where that oxygen station actually is, I have no idea. Did it disappear? Maybe that's it. It's entirely possible that it was destroyed by the uh, thing getting launched off. If this isn't it right here, I'm gonna have to pause and rewatch the video. Oh no, this is, uh, the tunnel, isn't it? Okay, well, that narrows it down to three. One moment. Okay, no, it's definitely right next to the one that has the guy who's frozen. And I'm pretty sure I remember seeing that again. Therefore, I think it is that one right there. And the alkali should be right there. Ah, right there. Perfect. I hope I only needed two. Something to scan, but I can't scan it because I do not have a scanner because I need to get another battery first. Well, while I'm here, I might as well look for a battery. Or at least for something I can smash to get a battery. Not that's just metal, that's just ice. That's metal. Ooh, okay, well, that's a uh, bit of a wreck. There might be something in there. Salt, water, examine wall. 
Comrade, make a contribute contri contribution to our safety wall. They started building a wall on the outer frontiers of the galaxy long ago, aided by the funds of the people concerned with the problem. Many people are obsessed with the idea of shutting off possible alien intrusion. Although, in my opinion, it would be better to build a pyramid, since such a way to swindle people out of their money is a much more customary. The grandiose construction has not yet been completed due to serious financial and ethical problems, or perhaps because of its complete uselessness. Probably both. Ah. A convenient cart with two buckets. One of the buckets is for washing gel, and the second one is for a complex absorbent that absorbs the dirty remnants of the gel. In fact, I often saw dirty water in both buckets, and it was not changed until the end of the flight. Friggin' hell. Two breathage energy cores. Not seeing any electronics to destroy. Just metal. Maybe down here. I think I've already checked this one, but I can't be sure. Aluminum. That's just metal. Construction kit. Back to the thingamajig. But slowly and carefully because I have no idea if there's any other radios around here. Not seeing it. So I need a maneuver engine. For the maneuver engine, I need two plastic, one compensator, one generator.
to plastic. All right, just check to make sure I didn't make the compensator or generator already. I didn't think I did. But it doesn't hurt to check. Okay, plastic, titanium, compensator, generator. Generator. Ah, that's why I had the refined metal out. Okay, so one more titanium, one more refined metal. Or two more refined metal. I gotta have one titanium in here somewhere. There it is. And now convert all of these useful materials into another engine. All right. I don't have any way to replace the navigator anyway, so... Just gonna fly to the Normandy, replace the engine, and be done with it. I'm not wearing the radiation suit. I hope I have enough. I hope I have fuel. Okay, I do. Oh, right, that's the uh, broken gun. Where'd the suit go? There it is. Since this is a completely useless room except for the bed, might as well dump all that stuff in there. Probably could have made a small habitation module, but eh, whatever. Fly straight toward the planet. Planet may or may not be in this direction. Alright, where am I going? Over there, okay.
Wish I could save the multiple slots. I don't know if uh, repairing the ship and then activating is a point of return or not. Is a point of no return or not. And I mean, if it is, then I have a whole bunch of resources that are just sitting in that bucket that I'll never see again. The habit of taking selfies can lead to no good. By the way, why haven't we found any cameras yet? What are you talking about? Oh, hey, a blaster. Nice, I didn't have to make one. These robots don't have any built-in weapons. I wonder where they got so many blasters. The lack of weapons in the military module hits at a definite answer, though. Is that alkali right there? No, it's aluminum. Another dead robot. That is, if robots can be considered dead at all. Oh, hey, another steering module. Or if I haven't scanned three of them. Ugh. All right, back up to the car. I am not getting frames. How does this thing take up the course routed by the captain? There's not enough information, but it seems that he was able to calculate a route through several accelerating stations straight to the core. We can get some energy for a single warp jump there, and let's hope that Normandy survives this. How does that engine take one or two by two square? That's it. Space, here we come. Start the engine. Okay. Finally progress. I've got a blaster, I've got some equipment, I've got some water, I've got some food. What more could I want? Oh. Now I get the... I apologize for the restart window. I'm not good with abrupt acceleration. I hope we don't need parts of the ship that fell off along the way that much. In any case, Normandy won't survive one more acceleration, or any flight at all. I suggest we find a place to dock and inspect the shuttle. By the way, I'd like to note that leaving the shuttle and going into outer space at such a short distance from the core is impossible unless you want to turn into jelly. We don't have enough engine power to activate the weapons. <sighs> okay, uh, do do do. Messages. Paranoia is a type of chronic psychosis common for adulthood. Either your interlocutor knows something we don't, or she's an old woman. Your signal change, are you fly on up long, so take your time. Are you fly on Normandy, team alive? They kill you. Don't trust them, you must take control and find me. 
Either your interlocutor knows something we don't, or she's an old woman. Okay, yep. Posters, notes, kitchen, prints, photos, items, equipment. Miscellaneous. I have not found most of these things. Ah, I see that there's a crack in the window. Man, this thing is slow. There's no acceleration either. I got used to my Zaz car. Well, there's a part of a ship. Can I fly through this ring? Ah! No. Oof. are you? Ah, man, this thing does not handle well. There's a system for accurate docking installed here. That's great. Or perhaps for not so accurate docking. It looks like the engines have failed completely now and will never get to the accelerating station. The engines have failed. The engines have really failed. It doesn't matter how many times you press the button. They're still not working. Maybe it's time for you to get busy. Okay, I'll wait. Maybe it's time for you to get busy. Maybe it's time for you to get busy. Okay, and now the dialogue repeats. Okay, processor, spacesuit section, toilet. Uh, I don't have any. Suitcases, so anything I hold is gonna have to go on the floor. Yes. Please go to the reception. Welcome. Go to the center. Please. Oh, oh, oh. More. Error. Error. Welcome. Diagnostics. <laughs> Please go. Oh, yeah. In. Error. Welcome to the diagnostics center. Yes. Please go to the reception. Welcome. Go to the center. Please. Oh, oh. This is not just a garage module, but a surviving diagnostic station. However, it doesn't sound like it's functioning nominally. Oh, hey, a battery. like he was accidentally killed by the diagnostic station. I can't find any other reason for this injury. Hmm. This worker apparently saw the death of the previous one and started running away, not looking where he was running and without a helmet.
Okay, well, parkour is not the answer. Ah. As always. Water, lead. We can't do anything here. We'll have to look for some controls. You better look for the remnants of your dignity, you lousy pajamas. Batteries. Electronics, okay. This does not loop around, does it? The elevators aren't working. Although it's not recommended to use elevators during a fire, earthquake, or the diagnostic station self-torture. Doors are broken. Those would be the elevators. More nutrition. The main diagnostics room. You can say that this is the brain of the whole diagnostic station, and this brain is malfunctioning. You are the one who's malfunctioning, you funerary diaper. All right. Head all the way back. Because clearly I need to try that first and then come over here and progress the plot. achieve nothing because this thing is short-circuiting the diagnostic station's brains. What now? Put it back. Are you messing around with me? Put it, oh yes, back in. Oh, you jerk. This diagnostic station is faulty, but we don't have any other one. The excess voltage is melting its circuits. You need to bring it to its senses somehow. Bring me back to your senses, you dirty undies with a helmet, if you don't stop coming at me. Water, rubber, resin, lead. I don't think I can really do anything with any of those things. The central processor protection control console. Create and install the working. dome. No, something's wrong. Hmm, I see. Someone removed the protection from the processor and tried to connect it directly to the coffins. I don't know why anyone would want to run diagnostics on coffins, but the result is obvious. Melted data blocks from the coffins. Judging by the remains of the wires, the blocks were roughly torn out in a hurry, which means the person who pulled them out was rough and in a hurry. 
I feel like Sherlock. So, nobody tried to run diagnostics on the coffins. Rather, on the contrary, they got the coffins burned because they were trying to decrypt them. Probably someone, like us, needed data from their sensors about the location of some particular object. The processor control panel. We can restart the whole station with it. Wait, where? It looks like we'll have to remove the excess voltage first. Okay, so how do I construct a dome? Processor dome required. Ugh, I hope it isn't grab every single resource and bring it to the pros to the uh thing back on the there ship. Should be a voice control module of the station here as well as its speech filters. Maybe that's why it keeps calling us names. Or maybe it's because you're a useless garment that keeps babbling too much. Oh, gravity module. Spaceships don't have gravity, everyone knows that. While scientists from the Institute regarding the problems of mass are puzzling over anti-gravity fields, modern spaceships are equipped with a paleozoic system of magnets that simulates gravity, and everything is controlled from such small devices. Another magnet. A famous song. Although, to be honest, I don't know much about music, so it's hard for me to judge it. And it's hard to listen to it, but it's even harder to judge. What kind of monsters played an 18-hour recording of this song? It looks like this recording is the reason why the station's entire voice module burned down and it became so aggressive. Equipment, okay. Elevators. The central processor. I thought such a fragile thing should be protected somehow and not be just sticking out of the floor like this. I stick out and in however I want. All right, I should probably check to see what I actually need for the dome. Magnetic master key required for that. Okay. Good thing I brought that. Um, use this. Eat that. Drink that. Non-conductive gel. Special gel for the attention, attenuation of radiation, heat, and electrically conductive properties of materials. Theoretically, you can apply it to your bare chest and jump out into outer space without a spacesuit, but for some reason, you wouldn't want to do this. Okay, I don't know how much gel I need, but I don't want to waste all of my coffin opening ability. It's locked from the inside. Hmm, that's problematic. Find some controls. Okay. Oof. Well, hopefully it doesn't require water. Ah, there's these tanks everywhere, so... Hopefully it doesn't require more than 11 gel, I suppose I should say.
How do I get in here? Welcome. Ah, I can float. Got it. Okay, processor. Equipment. New item. Dome. So four lead and two wire. Okay. A gear shift. I have no idea what it's doing on the diagnostic station, but I know for sure it's amazingly beautiful. Together with the Christmas tree air freshener, such a gear shift turns any jalopy into a masterpiece of the car industry. Okay, four lead, two wire. That shouldn't be too hard to find. 